Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto and I'm a photographer. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the new version of DxO Pure Raw. The latest new version number is 4. The previous version, Pure Raw 3, has in my opinion been the best app or plugin for noise reduction and lens corrections. The new version has a completely new user interface and some new and improved features. In this video, we're going to take a look at those uh, new features and the new interface and we're also going to compare Pure Raw 3 and Pure Raw 4 and see if there is any difference in the output. I'm going to put an affiliate link down below for the app just in case after watching this video, if you decide to purchase the app, please use my link down below and support my channel at the same time. Just like the previous version, the new version also works as a standalone app or a plugin for Adobe Lightroom. In this video, I'm going to use the Lightroom plugin because I'm a Lightroom user and that way it's easier for me to access my pictures in my Lightroom library. In Lightroom, I'm going to choose the file menu and plugin extras. And there I have two options. The first one is preview and process with DxO Puro 4. And the other option is process instantly with DxO Puro. If I choose the latter option, I don't get any of the user interface. I just get the summary of the settings and I hit the process now button and that's it. However, if I want to preview and fine tune my output, then I will choose the preview and process with DxO Puro 4 option. The new interface has a huge preview window and with this slider, I can compare the original and the processed version. DxO says the preview is real time, but sometimes it's not automatically updated. So you have to pay attention to this uh, little text at the bottom of the screen to make sure you are actually looking at the updated preview picture of uh, the processed version. Otherwise you may get the wrong impression of what you are going to get when you actually hit the process button. And you can zoom in up to 16 to 1 ratio to really pixel peep the final output. The noise reduction engine has been updated and now the best version is called D Prime XD2. And there are two new sliders called luminance and force details. With these two sliders, you can fine tune the output. These two new sliders and the preview make this app so much nicer to use because some people like me, I like to leave a little bit of noise in my pictures, but maybe you like to get rid of all the noise in the pictures. And with these two new sliders and the, the preview, you can control, precisely control the output and uh, fine tune the picture exactly to your liking. In the previous version, you had no such options. DxO says the lens corrections are improved, especially the sharpening algorithm. And it's different from most other lens correction apps. All lenses are sharper in the middle of the frame and softer towards the corner of the frame. And especially some cheap lenses can be very sharp in the middle, but very soft in the corners. And if you apply global sharpening to the whole picture area, it's not ideal. DxO sharpening algorithm is tailored to each lens and it applies different amount of sharpening in the middle of the frame and in the corners of the frame depending on the rendering characteristics of the lens. That's what they are telling us anyway. And whatever the app is doing, I think the results are really, really good. I think the lens sharpening algorithm works well and the results are really good regardless of the lens. The distortion corrections are the same as before as far as I know, but I think it's still worth mentioning the maximum rectangle option because especially with some wide angle lenses that can give you quite a lot of extra image area on the right and on the left side of the screen. And sometimes in post when you are processing or reviewing your images, you realize that, oh man, I should have left a little bit of more room on the left side of the screen or on the right side of the screen. This option may just save your day because it 
can give you that little bit of extra image area on the right and on the left side of your picture and it can make your composition work so much better. You can choose from three different output formats, DNG, TIFF and JPEG. With JPEG you have the quality control slider and you also have something called smart lighting and with this slider you can control the brightness of the final image that you're going to output. In this new Puro version 4 you also have better batch processing options and also better file renaming options as before. Now let's compare Pure Raw 3 and Pure Raw 4 and see if there is any difference in the final output. But first I'd like to point uh, one uh, little thing. When you process your picture in DxO Pure Raw, whether it's 3 or 4 version, the color of the picture changes slightly. Here we can see the original RAW picture from the Sony ZV-1 camera and here is the processed version from Pure RAW. And as you can see the Pure RAW picture looks slightly warmer even though the camera profile and the white balance settings are exactly the same for the both pictures. And it doesn't matter whether you are using Pure RAW 3 or Pure RAW 4, the color change is still the same. This portrait is from the Sony ZV-1 camera. It's a one inch sensor compact camera. My ISO setting was 6400 and the image is quite noisy because the setting is quite high for such a small sensor camera and this image definitely needs some noise reduction. On the left side you can see the Pure Raw 4 picture and on the right you can see the Pure Raw 3 picture. With Pure Raw 3 I used the D Prime XD noise reduction option which is the best in Pure Raw 3. In Pure Raw 4 I used the D Prime XD2 option. I set the luminance slider to 50 and the force details slider to 40. And I think the result is really impressive. There's absolutely no noise left in the picture, it's super clean, but still there's plenty of details left. I think actually the picture looks almost too clean to my taste and I probably would like to dial down the noise reduction slightly for the final output. In Pure Raw 3, the best noise reduction option, D-Prime XD had a tendency to create some weird artifacts in some situations as you can see here, but Pure Raw 4 has no such artifacts, at least in this case, and to me it looks like Pure Raw 4 is far superior in noise suppression compared to Pure Raw 4. And also the amount of details that I can see in Pure Raw 4 picture is pretty much identical to the Pure Raw 3 picture and those two new sliders in Puro 4 would allow me to fine tune the output even further to my liking. To me it looks like the new Puro 4 is a clear winner compared to Puro 3. The new user interface is so much better and so much more convenient to use because you can actually see what you are going to get before you hit the process button. And the noise reduction results are also far better compared to the previous version number 3. The price for the full version is 119 euros or US dollars and the upgrade from the previous version is 79 euros or US dollars. Whether it's worth it for you depends on what cameras you use, what lenses you use, but I definitely think the new version is better than the previous version. There are some significant improvements. And if you decide to purchase the new version, please do use my link down below and you will support my channel at the same time. Thank you so much and I'll definitely see you soon in the next video.